Yes! Yes! Is this the shot of a banshee? Yes! I am expected. My name is Igor. Enter! Bad storm. Nice place. But you should oil that door. Hey. I remember you. Do you remember me? Igor! Grim! That is your name, isn't it? Remember me? Igor! We used to play together in your father's ski team. <laughs> Until that accident. And that's when I went to work for Dr. Frankenstein. And you must have come here. Yes! Oh, you haven't changed. Never did talk much. So this shadow bench. Very interesting. Mind if I take a look around with Grim? Grim? Grim! The doctor would like to take a look around, but since the doctor's not here, Igor will take a look around. Oh, my good man, I say, is this the Shadowbrook Mansion? I am Sir Lawrence Ashman III, you may have heard of me. Whoa! Uh, well, yes, if you prefer to use that name. Uh, I'm here at the request of your master, and I see I'm not the first to arrive. Hello! You! Igor! Uh, well, my little friend, have you figured out how to kill a werewolf yet? <laughs> it, it, it was a mistake. <laughs> An accident. Yeah, well, you'd better not make the same mistake again. Uh, I won't. Did it hurt? Only for the first week or two. I must say, I've never had anyone use a wooden stake before. <laughs> I'm sorry, but off the record, it is a super bowl accident. That is none of your concern. I didn't expect you to be on the guest list unless you're here with the good Dr. Frankenstein. The doctor is working on his new creation. I came alone. Oh, I see. Well, then this will be a strange weekend. Oh, what do you mean? I mean you're here. No, oh, just take my word for it. So what's this all about, anyway? I don't know. I was about to ask you. Well, all I can say is it had better be important. I'm missing the National Werewolf Competition this weekend. It sounded important. It did it that. The invitation almost sounded like a demand. A life or death matter, I'd say. Well, here we are, and where's our host? Have you seen him yet? No. Well, the invitations had arrived by 7.30. It's nearly 7.20, and you and I are apparently the only ones here. Well, I suppose we can take our luggage to our rooms. Where'd that butler fellow get to? Weird looking chap, wasn't he? Huh. I guess no weirder than some. <laughs> that is an atrocious storm out there. I was afraid I'd come in smelling like a wet dog. <laughs> get it? Wet dog. Never mind. So, another guest has arrived. Sir Lawrence Ashman III here. Ah. And how was your journey in this horrid storm? Yeah, from the looks of you, it must have been rough. Huh? Yes! Yes, Victor! Ah, uh, pleasure, I'm sure. Grim, would you be kind enough to show us to our rooms? Stairs! Hall! Right! Door! 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 I, I see, then I guess we'll find them on our own, then. Okay. Uh, come on, you go. Go. On these roads. I'm 
would have answered it eventually. The lights are all on. It looks like someone's home. Well, but I didn't want to get my name for any weather. You know this storm is the worst I've seen in centuries. Strange. What is? Oh, this whole affair. The invitation to spend the weekend seemed almost a demand. And then no one here to greet us. I wonder who else is invited on the guest list. But I must say, Shadow Brick is certainly nice. Well, well, yes. It does have a rather inner sight by charm. Yes, I like it. It sets the right mood. Oh, the right mood for what, Aunt Tilly? Why, for a holiday, of course. Halloween. It is that time of year again, isn't it? Why, it seems like only yesterday you had that lovely party at Floor's Lawn. Remember, it lasted from midnight until dawn. Oh, oh, oh. that way we didn't have to worry about any mortals. <laughs> well, life was any great. <laughs> and what a crowd there was. I could hardly find a spot to park my room. Well, you know how it is. They have all those underground condos there and everybody just kept popping up. Oh, I couldn't turn them away. Besides, it just added a little extra spot to the annual witch's dash. <laughs> You're quite a witch, Auntie. Oh. I just love being a witch. <laughs> Thank you, too. Oh, 
Yes, of course. <laughs> My homeland is in Transylvania. Oh, I've never been there before. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, the mountains are very large. They seem to reach up and touch the sky. Oh, the evenings are very beautiful. Oh, and how are the days there? They're average. <laughs> oh, good evening. I see more guests have arrived. Oh, yes, uh, Sir Lawrence, I wonder who would be on the guest list. Yes, uh, hi, hello there. Jonathan <laughs> You're certainly getting over there, aren't you? <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, ah! oh. Well, and who, may I ask, are these charming ladies? Are oh. friends of yours? Why, well, yes. Uh, let me introduce Lorena uh. and Aunt Tilly. This is Sir Lawrence Ashley the Bird. Oh, so nice to meet you. I assure you the pleasure is all mine. Oh. And how do you do? Oh, <laughs> oh I do. All right, those are the time. I'm quite sure you do. We would like to freshen up a bit. Would you know where our rooms are? No, no, no. But Grim the butler should be around soon. He's somewhere. Oh, here he is now. Uh, Grim, these lovely ladies are weekend guests. Would you please show them to their rooms? Follow! Uh, Jonathan and I will wait here until the ladies are all set. <laughs> Thank you. Come back, Chloe. Well, I guess we'll be seeing you all later. <laughs> Two balloons. Two balloons. Two balloons. Oh, my good man, how you've changed. Two balloons. Things are rougher now than they used to be ever since the feminist movement. Well, it's practically put me out of business. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Well, Jonathan is certainly getting up there. How old are you now, Jonathan? I'm sorry, sir, but I cannot deliver to my age. Oh. He's 12. Ah. <laughs> he wants to pass for older. Hi. Ah. I, I say, what about your sister? I bet she's changed. Will uh, Dom should be flying in later tonight? Well, I wouldn't know. You see, we've been separated for three years now. Separated? You and Darsha? I hadn't heard. Yes, we quarreled so much we felt it was for the best. And your daughter, Anna Brexia? Alexia. <laughs> yes. uh, she lives with her mother and Jonathan, he stays with me. It's all for the best, you know. I, I can't believe you're a partner. I mean, we've been together for so long. Yes. It was going on the fifth century, and she must have hit some sort of stage or something, because every time I looked at another woman, she would go, oh, hello, women, she would go nuts. And as you know, in my line of work, it comes with the territory. Oh, yes, I understand. <laughs> oh, Grim, ladies all settled? Well, Jonathan, it's time we go make sure there are no uncovered east windows. You know, the sun and the... Uh, uh, we need to make sure the coffins are put in our room the moment they arrive. They must be there by 6.45. <laughs> Come, exit! Aha! Well, I wonder how that national werewolf competition is going. I did hate to miss it. I've been practicing my growl. Rah! <laughs> Pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> and the value of transformations. Now nah, I was certain to take the silver at least. Ah, oh, well. I have been looking around, and there's something weird around here. Well, you can say that again. <laughs> there's something weird around here. No, 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 I, I was simply agreeing with you about your being so weird. No. Well, if the doctor were here, he'd find out all the mystery was about. Oh, is that a fact? Yes, the doctor is very smart. And what about you, Igor? How smart are you? I, I, I don't know. Why? Well, just look at yourself, man. Living the way you do, working in the dungeon, caring for the doctor's monsters. Wouldn't you like something more out of life? Well, wouldn't you? Like what? Like a clue? A life of your own? A first that you could travel, you could have new experiences, you could get married. Married? Me? <laughs> well, it wouldn't happen right away, would it? <laughs> no, you definitely need a self-improvement course. What's that? Well, it's a course to uh, improve yourself, duh. Your appearance, at least. My appearance? <laughs> Great gravy, man. Haven't you ever looked in the mirror? You really should sometime, because you don't look like others. You have these, well, in that, and it, uh, uh, well, I must be off. 
Grim says it's me, Dad, really love to greet our host. That gives me just enough time to finish a novel I've been reading. Igor, that's where you could start. You could learn to read. Read? Yeah, think about it. <laughs> Cheerio.
queen that takes bishops. Oh, uh -huh. bad ways. Uh, but you failed to mention my two greatest qualities, oh. which are persistence and patience. If I wait long enough, I always get my train. <laughs> oh, you're stalling, Lance. Oh, yes. Um, queen takes castle. Hee <laughs> hee. Check, I think. <laughs> Yes, your problem is and always has been your pride. While you're patiently awaiting your chance to be aggressive, you fail to perceive the obvious queen queen takes queen. Queen. Check no. mate, my friend. No, no. no. bad wings. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Having a game of chess. Oh, yes. Uh, I was about to corner him several times when he put me in checkmate just a moment ago. He's away. Oh, you're very good, you know that, Lawrence. Luck, Lance, just luck. Will, is that the tasty milk bone I see over there? Yes, there it is. Don't touch it. Oh, you have a sparkle in your eyes that oh. light up the whole room when you smile. Why, Cal, it's a perfectly lovely thing to say. Oh, oh Lance, please call me Lance. Be careful, Lance, your intentions are showing. Oh, oh good evening. Oh, I'm here at the rest of our guests. Uh, I believe we're all here now. Except for our host. Has anyone seen you? Oh, no, I've never even met the man before. Just talked to him over the telephone was all when he called for Aunt Tilly once. In fact, I've only heard his voice and never seen him. Hmm. But what do you mean, that? How could you speak with him and not see him? Well, I heard his voice, but he was not visible. <laughs> well, come, come to think of it, neither have I actually seen him, that is, just oh, spoken with him. Oh, well, what about you, Aunt oh, Tilly? No, 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 not me. I've only spoken to him over the phone, huh? Then what about you? No, oh, I forgot, you don't speak. No man or woman has ever seen the shadow. Oh, is that a fact? Now, how do you know? Because the man does not exist, only his shadow. That's just, just plain goofy, if you ask me. Many, many years ago, the Shadow's father approached him and asked if he was prepared to make the commitment of stepping into his shoes as the Shadow. When he agreed to do as he and his fat, her, oh, father, <laughs> excuse me, he was excited and gave him the oaths that were given to the ten generations of Shadows before him. The powers given him were that he could linger deep in the shadows of men's thoughts and know things that no other knew. This was an ek. Citing assignment. However, he was unaware of the currents attached to those powers that he must remain invisible to all except on his 75th anniversary, at which time he rests, refuels, and recalculates his strategies and goals. Tomorrow marks the 75th year. Ooh. I wonder if that's why we're all here, to celebrate with him. <laughs> well, why would he want all of us here? We hardly know him. Oh, that's a good sign. No. Well, Grim could tell us. Yes. <laughs> if he would say more than one word at a time, he is a strange fellow. I wonder what he's really like. Oh, oh my dear, we can tell you what Grim is really like. Yes, you have to guess. He's like this. Grim, Grim, he's a king like me to the shadows somehow. Their progenitors were the same, I surmise.
idea is what Grin is really like. Good evening. Oh, oh Dasha, you're here? No, tell me that this is a bad dream and that you are not really standing there. Mom? No, not really standing there. Oh, Jonathan, my son. Oh. Alexia! <laughs> Dad! We! Oui. Like how you have grown. Oh, you look exactly like your father. Oh, Bill. Oh, Alexia, <laughs> you have grown so beautiful. You look like your mother did when I met her a very long, long, a very long, a very long time ago. <laughs> uh, now, good evening, Darsha. I wondered if you would be here. Well, I wouldn't have been if I had read the guest list. Oh, really? Well, I enjoy slumming a bit myself. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, well, it's 11 o'clock, and where's the host? I don't know. Welcome again, this is to the Shadow Brother Mansion. I apologize for the interruption of the festivities. Graham and I are pleased that all of you could come with your busy schedules. It is of the utmost importance that you be here this evening. Some of us have been acquaintances for some time now, and we have a knowledge of and a respect for each other's life's work. But do not know all there is to know about each other. For this purpose, you are here this week. I will pay a visit to each of you. When it will not be known to you. It is only known by the shadow. <laughs> Just open your eyes, it's plain to see. Oh, 
that let's be love. Yes, neither are you. Oh. There you go again, not believing in me. A man cannot go on this way. <laughs> there you go again, calling yourself a man. When a snake or a rat, you should say. I simply cannot tolerate this woman. There, there she go again, not believing in me. A man cannot go on this way. There she goes again, telling me lies. Nothing's changed. She's impossible. Oh, you did the whole summer? Yep. I always want to say long in the evening. We just fly in and ride back out. Your accents, children? Uh, we've had such fun messing around the country. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we were practicing our landings on the balconies. Jonathan has the best wing spread. He can fly so fast above the tree. Oh, that is wonderful, Jonathan. You are growing into quite a young man. I am so glad that you could spend the weekend. Yes, he's growing into a very young, young man. He's growing younger every second because he never gets in before the sun comes up. You're going to leave it like a true one of these days. I have to pick your butt to play again. We almost hurry, or you know the consequences. Come 
can't find him. He's disappeared. Oh, oh no. What can we do? Maybe he's playing a game. Well, I fight. I don't see. It is a game, all right, and the shadow is the one that's playing it. Well, the what kind of game is it? Yep. It's the disappearing kind. <laughs> I've been looking all over for you. 
I got separated from Dad about an hour ago. Gosh, Lorraine and I did for hours and didn't find a place. We didn't either. Where's Lorraine? Oh, she's so excited for talking of it. Gee, Jonathan, do you really think Mom and Mom should be all right? Oh, I'm sure they are. Actually, it's Dad I'm worried about. Why? Well, I've never seen him worry about anybody like he's worried about Mom. He worries about you, doesn't he? I guess so. That's all Mom does is worry about me. Alexia, be careful. Alexia, watch out for that sun. Alexia, there is your accent. <laughs> Think of it. Yeah, me too. I mean, it was like Dad was never young. Or at least not as young as me. John, <laughs> you think all parents act like that? Or worse, do you think we'll act like that when we're parents? <laughs> Correctly. Oh well, 
You know, Mr. Igor, all this searching has made me hungry. Would you care to join me for a little midnight snack? No. I chance on that old Aunt Tilly, but she is my only chance. If her memory has not failed her in this one deed, I will become immortal. <laughs> Nothing can change my plans now. Hello. Hello. Wait, you're Victor. Actually, I'm Victoria. Named after my grandfather. And 1,000 years ago, they weren't very accurate with their genealogy. But why didn't you tell them? <laughs> uh, of course, you couldn't speak. Well, I finally just got used to be called Victor and accepted it. But what's happened to you? You look so surprisingly sassy. <laughs> I know. Oh, I mean, thank you. I was proud of who I was. <laughs> so long. When we cut the piece of cloth away, I began to. Unraveled. And now, thanks to you, Vincent, I'm finally free from those awful packages I've lived in all these years. <coughs> Call me Vincent. How is it that you know my real name? Yeah. I've been in your sight for some time now. Come again? <laughs> it's true I've known your deepest thoughts and the torments you felt, only wanting to help men out of their problems and show them a better way. Oh, I'm a great admirer of you. I can't believe my ears. Why, why did I not linger in your thoughts longer then, Victor? I mean, Victoria. Tell me, what does this mean? Well, it means that I am finally free to live any life I choose. I can hardly believe my eyes. You are so beautiful, Victoria. Well, I'd love to hear you say my name. Say it again. <laughs> Victoria. Oh, Vincent. Oh, Victoria.
Star Damien here. Please, call me Vincent. It is a pleasure to meet you, oh, Aunt Tilly. Oh, my goodness, you are such a gentleman. <laughs> oh, but who's your friend? I don't believe we've met. Allow me to formally introduce you to not Victor Methodist, but Victoria Methodist. Oh, one of those change operations? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, just a wonderful miracle and a spell broken. Oh, Aunt Tilly, I've been looking all over for you and oh, Linda, Marina, this is so exciting. I want you to meet me. Shadow. Oh, I mean Vincent. <laughs> and this is our who was really in disguise, Victoria. Oh, what? what? might have had while being a guest at Shadowbrook Mansion. You'll all have a seat. Never mind. I believe I can explain. You see, it was very important that each of you be here with me this weekend. Vasha, there you are. <laughs> are you all right? Yes, my darling. Oh, Wolfie, I was so worried about you. You were? Oh, yeah. Oh. As you can see, your friends are perfectly well and return to you with no harm done. Oh, no! Let me speak! I was simply tired of not existing except in the inner thoughts of men's minds. I wanted a life of my own. Well, we certainly can't blame you for that. We understand, don't we, Lorena? Nope. Oh, Lorena. I guess so. Well, 15 years ago, I read of Antilles' special immortal brew. It's taken me all these years to bring you together so that I may obtain the right ingredients and have each of you to be here with me at this time. Antilles makes another form. Positive little something from each of you. I hope you don't mind. Well, I noticed I had a claw missing. Was that my contribution? Yes, it was. Yes, it will. <laughs> my Yes, my friend, but it will grow back. Oh, was it my war? Oh, well, good riddance. The third, I have nothing to do with it. My tooth? <laughs> yes, my friend, a great sacrifice, please. I know an excellent dentist who owes me a favor, and he'll have you good as new in no time. As for me, I believe my ancient clock. Oh, well, look what happened to Victor. <laughs> Dad, don't look. You're right. I will never look at another woman again now that I have my Darsha back. <laughs> oh, Lance, how I've missed you. Oh. Let us never quarrel again. <laughs> Never. Does your mouth hurt? Just a little. We will get your toothpick right away, and I will go with you and hold your hand. <laughs> <laughs> so with all of your contributions in Aunt Tilly's brew, I will now drink a sip of it in your presence. Grim the brew. Shadows and, and I will never be lonely again. <laughs> 